Wagwan YouTube, we're done with your boy Da Vinci from Da Vinci Studios. Back at it again with another tutorial. Wanna deal with people? Wagwan, you never miss me. All right, me know me did gone for a little while. Is me? I went to deal with some dope work for Daniel Di. Y'all can check it out. It's in the cards right now. Make sure y'all go and check it out and give it a like. All right. First of all, guys, I'm telling you this plugin that I'm about to use and show y'all how to use is amazing. It's a robot plugin, by the way. I, I'm telling y'all, I'm going to leave the link down in the body to show you guys how you guys can copy it, all right? I'm telling you, it's a really lovely plugin. Make sure you get it, all right? You guys, before I even move on, I'm going to just let y'all know from now to just pause the video, drop that like, or drop a comment. Let me know what y'all think about this tutorial, or, you know, y'all can just actually wait <laughs> and watch the tutorial. Let me know what's up, all right? But show your support in any form of way, all right? Also, you know, share this video. Let other graphic designers know about my channel. And y'all can all subscribe and check out all the dope art that I have coming your way. And how I can show y'all how to make some more dope art. Feel me? Awesome. Y'all guys can also check me out on Instagram. It's on the screen right now. Make sure y'all go over there and check it out. If y'all want to have, you know, access to a more, I guess, intimate platform or intimate, uh, you know, way of, Talking to me or I'm following me. You get what I'm saying? Lit. Now, without further ado, make we go pre out the video now. Lit. guys let's get into this amazingness <laughs> all right so let's create a new composition we're gonna call it plexus awesome you know 1920 by 1080p uh you know you know that's that's my basic you guys know this 10 seconds and a black background color however i want to create my own background because you know this is an actual 3D software, so it will need, you know, an actual depth depth map. So I want to make sure that, you know, I just I don't only use the background color here. I want to be on the safe side and create an actual black background. So we're gonna go BG. Um, make sure the color is black, just like that, and we're gonna go hit OK. Here we go. So now, guys, let us get right into creating the awesomeness. Let's hit Control Y to create a new solid. And name this layer Plexus. Okay. Let's type in our effects and presets for Plexus. Drag and drop it on Plexus. So, guys, here we are taken to a Plexus object panel, and I'm going to explain everything here. Now, it is arranged in a very beautiful manner for you to just have a very, you know, nice ease of flow. So, we're going to add geometry. Geometry is just basically saying where would you like your points to be generated from? Would you like it to be generated from an actual 3D model, which is, you know, in an OBJ format? Or would you like, you know, a primitive or whatever, a layer? Uh, and because Plexus basically is a point render. So it renders the points and, you know, you can connect it with lines and triangulation and beams and all of that. But I'm going to explain that again. <laughs> so, but right now you need to focus on what what is it exactly that you would like, you know, you would like the dots or the points for to be generated from. So adding geometry. For this exam, for this tutorial, I'm going to show you with primitives. So the primitives, you know, basically a cube and so forth. But let's let's choose that. And if you look automatically, they start generating points from a primitive that they have in the system. Let's create a new camera. Right click and say new camera. Let's make it 28 millimeters. And let us go right into this cube, because as I said, guys, it's an actual 3D software, so everything in here is 3D. Your 3D layer is not turned on, but it's a 3D software, all right? Now, just look at this, guys. This is fully 3D. I hope you all can see this perfectly. Now, we're going to go inside of this cube, or I guess just to look at it closer. And if you look closely, it is just points. It's just made of pure points. So it, it Plexus is just basically a points rendering software. All right. Now let's take it a step further. We don't only want points. We also want lines. 
So we're not going to add an effector just yet. We want a renderer, which means that, you know, we want also lines. As I said, we want lines. And there we go. We have lines. Now, this is not looking so dope right now. Or, you know, some people can look at it and be like, oh, that's dope. <laughs> and if you guys look at this tool, just at this angle, y'all can see that you can use this software to build blueprints. It is crazy the infinite possibilities that you can use this software to create. But in this specific tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to create it, create a visual effects background. But while I go along, I'm just going to show you guys how much crazy stuff you guys can go with this. We're going to now not make this cube look so perfect because I want it to be a background. You know, I want it to be very much random, not looking almost like an asset. I want it to look like, you know, just something very much random and in the background that a lot of people, you know, just say, oh, that's cool, but not enough to drag their attention. So we're going to add an effector, but a noise effector by that matter. Now, this effector, we're going to use it to stretch out every point, and that will just give it a random look. So if we take a look here in our noise effector, we're going to turn up noise amplitude to a very great amount. And if we go ahead and look right there, it's starting to stretch it out. Let us click and hold shift and while we drag out, and this will, you know, turn up you know how fast our numbers are stretched out and guys look at that it's very much random if y'all look right now you guys can use this software to create constellation patterns or constellation graphics it is crazy the amount of things that you guys can create with this however let's stick to the background <laughs> all right so right now let's just start tweaking we're not tr truly finishes yet but let's just start tweaking uh we would like our points to be a little smaller. So we're going to change that from 2 to 1. We also want our lines to not be too thick. So we're going to change it from 1 to say 0 0.75. All right? Giving it this look. Now for the dope stuff. We're going to go back over to our object panel here. And we're going to go down to add renderer. And we're going to add triangulation. And there we have all of this cool stuff. I really like triangulation. Uh, it just adds a very interesting, you know, look to everything. I really like it. You know, giving it a little bit more detail and you're like, okay, cool. Let's zoom up on this just a little bit just to have some triangulations very close and some very far away. We're going to also turn on depth of fields on our camera. We're going to click our camera and hit AA, double click AA. We're going to take into, you know, camera options and we're going to hit depth of field on we're going to change our aperture to a very high aperture to say 50 and you know just change our focus distance to say 700 because we'd like it to be very much close but we're not getting any nothing you know i guess responsive from the from the from the plexus no depth of fields here so it's very much obvious that we have to turn depth of fields on in the plexus software so we're going to go down to plexus here and we're going to say required unified render, rendering, un, required for depth of field, and the rest is supposed to say motion motion blur. Lit. <laughs> so we're going to check mark there. And we're concerned to depth of field right here. We're going to change it from off to camera setting. And there we go. We're going we're gonna to now go back to our camera, click our camera, click AA to go back into the settings. And we're going to tweak our depth of field value and have, you know, some of them very much in focus and some out of focus i like this this one right here to be very much in focus so let's get it in focus guys probably my aperture is a little bit too much let's go say 25 awesome and let's let's just find another one probably yes i like this guy i like this one right here right over here all right so now we just basically have you know just a little bit of depth of fields on it and you know we can basically you know see the look but if you guys take a look down these sections it's very much you know scattered and it looks it looks looking very ugly don't worry that is just their base i guess their base setting 
but you have to change your render quality. The render quality is changed is set at one right now. And basically, the more you set it up to, it's the cleaner this will get. And then, you know, depth of field will be looking very sharp. And, you know, that is that is basically how it works. All right. Let's go back to one because we'd like, you know, everything to be moving very much fast. We can we can now, you know, also set color. Let's go ahead and set our color. We'd probably go with a nice blue tone. We also want to add some glows to this. So we'll double click on our on our glows. We'll have a very, you know, say a, a hundred or say two hundred. And you know, we want we want to, to be like almost a very shocking glow. Not cyan, but shocking with a very light tone to it, just like that. And we're gonna dupl duplicate this glow and to say about 400. Awesome. And now we have you know almost like a very nice sci fi neon glow. We're gonna turn our render up just a little bit to say two, you know, for it to not be looking too terrible or three. But you guys get the point. All right, guys. So now I want to take you guys to another section. You know, this is all looking uh, good, but we kind of want this to look a little bit better. All right. So what I want to tell you guys about, you know, is to just analyze, you know, certain things. In every tutorial, I tell you guys, everything is not really just about knowing the most about graphics. It's really much, I guess, you know, analyzing stuff and just, I guess, getting in touch with other aspects of, you know, your life and, you know, like sciences and math and all these type of aspects and putting them all together and making you know your clients or whoever you're making graphics for to just visualize everything and you know for you to just be that you get what i'm saying so when we look at this to be honest it, it, it plexus gives you the illusion that you know it has a lot of atmosphere but it really doesn't because when you start moving around you know everything does not seem as you know as dope as it used to you get what i'm saying let me just turn back or render down back to one because you know we want everything to be moving very very nice good so yeah back to what i was saying so what i normally do whenever i'm i'm you know i'm using plexus for a background is i i really like you know backgrounds with a lot of atmosphere and a lot of detail and to add you know extra detail and a lot more atmosphere to the to the piece you know while our camera is moving around i normally add particular which is you know basically it acts as like dust in a sense so we're going to add particular here. Ugh. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. And we're going to just, you know, double click. Wow, it's not even spelled correctly. Yet. But anyways, and we're going to, you know, basically show you guys, you know, well, I'm not going to go depth in depth of how you guys use particular. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys, you know, how I basically analyze stuff. And I would pretty much like the same from all of my following. You know, let's make the we we'll change it from a from a point to box. You know, go emitter size. You know, to about five thousand, uh, because you know we want it to basically be very much spread apart, like our plexus. So you know, when we move our camera, we still have particular uh, points in everywhere we go. We want the life to be about four seconds. We want our size to be about three. We want the randomness to be about 50. Our size over life, we would pretty much like it to grow and, you know, shrink while dying. Grow while breath and shrink while dying. 75% opacity and 50% random. We want our opacity over life to be the same pretty much. And that will give us, you know, in a sense, a little bit of, you know, dust. We want our dust to, ha uh, you know, be the same blue, but we want it to have like a, a bit more sign touch. Uh, so we're going to add a glow here to our particular. Go like 50 and a glow of 30. We want to du duplicate it and to make that 300. Good. We don't want this to be so much again. Because I forgot it, it was already very much light, you know, being very much sign, a very light sign. So we don't want to want our threshold to be too light and force it to go to white. All right. So this basically is just going to give us, you know, a very much atmosphere to our to our to, to our old our old particle body. All right. So we're just going to tweak it a little bit, give it a little bit of, you know, I guess 
so, some form of detail, you know, give it a little bit of gravity, say 50 gravity, let it fall, uh, let it fall to this direction, say negative 50, uh, a little bit of turbulence, say 50, and that will pretty much be it, um, to be honest. We don't want everything to be moving too fast, so probably we should turn our values down. So our velocity, let's turn our velocity just to zero. That's what I normally like doing whenever I'm, I have dust because I get to control it a little bit more and set this to 25 now, negative 25 and say 25. So particles standing by themselves, you know, will be moving a lot slower, just like that. If you guys see that, you know, very slow particles. Uh, we can probably add a little bit more turbulence to it to say 75, but I want it to be pretty much, you know, just falling very slow because we'll be having very fast cameras. You don't want, you don't want, you know, a lot of fast movements on top of your fast camera. All right. So now just, let's just leave that. You know, I, I can see room here where we can make this a little bit smaller. Let just like that. All right. Now let's just animate a tad bit just for you guys to see because if you guys haven't realized, this is basically it. Uh, it's basically it. This is basically your look. Um, let's go, you know, camera here of say position. Let's keyframe a position. And let's just go to the beginning and let's zoom out. Let's go out just like this. Very far away. All right. And we want this to basically be, you know, keyframed. Now, another plugin that you guys can get, or another, I guess, JavaScript that you guys can get is Motion Volume 2. Um, you guys should check it out. I'm telling you it's a very good, very good JavaScript. It helps me a lot. It helps me out a lot, um, you know, especially for somebody who uses um, the MoGraph a lot. Trust me, it helps you out a lot. And, you know, just giving you that specific look that you want. Guys, this is basically it. Um, you know, I'll be rendering out this, you know, to make it look very much neater and let you guys see, you know, what it looks like. But this is pretty much, you know, your piece that you guys just basically created, a 3D, you know, plexus scene. You know, what you guys can also do, you know, or what I did in my previous piece was, you know, I realized when I'm when I when my camera stopped, you know, I wanted the plexus to be moving a little. So what I did was I went to noise detail, noise detail and noise evolution and alt click on noise evolution and create a you know a, an expression time times one because i don't want it to be moving very fast i just want it to be moving very slow and this will just give you a basic you know just slow moving plexus scene you know your triangulation and stuff like that can go off but you know all you guys have to do is to just you know just tweak your values probably send them up not too much <laughs> and you know that would take care of everything pretty much all right so i'm gonna show you guys what this looks like rendered just like that you know you guys can even you know add exposure you know values at the front you know make it black and then fade into something light it is it is a really dope concept to have guys you know just as something that you know you guys want to use as you know backgrounds or a 3d environment plexus is the way to go all right Guys, thanks, thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you guys leave a like for this video. You know, a lot of efforts are put in just to make sure that you guys see, you know, at least a tutorial or three tutorials, three to four tutorials per month or something. I'm really much trying. I'm very much new to YouTube, but I'm trying my best for you guys, all right? Thanks a lot for showing your support, guys, for watching this. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial, all right? Have a nice day.